Hello and welcome to the gallery. My name is Sean and today we will be opening up and taking a look at the new Chaos Knight set. Also, there's a small giveaway in this video, so stay tuned for that a little bit later on. Here we have the new Chaos Knight Army set. Now, Army is a relative term, obviously, because this is only three models, uh, two War Dogs and the new Knight. And it's a very cool box. It's hefty and it's nice. So it's got a lot of stuff in it. Now, let's just open it up and see what's inside. Well, before that, let's see what the box tells us what's inside. Let's look at the back of him. Now we have uh, one Knight Abominant, two War Dogs, a uh, uh, new rule book, and some data cards, a rule pack, and an assembly guide. And that's very handy because these are big and complex models. So we're going to need all the help we're going to get to put them together. Now let's open it up. And immediately we got a bunch of sprues. Not surprising. I mean, the regular Knights are on quite a few big sprues. Starting out with uh, the war dogs, I'm guessing these are two sprues of the same kind, but they have probably a lot of uh, various bits, so you can customize them to look different and fun and interesting. And it's good to finally get some proper chaos war dogs, so you don't have to always convert the regular armatures. And that's definitely a good thing, although converting knights is quite the fun stuff. And they cut interesting head options, these canine skeletal corny head options, and also a few regular heads, well, still a little bit more chaosy than the armature heads, but still just a regular face mask, and that's very nice. And we have two sprues of the same type for that. Now we have a night sprue bunch. Let's move this to the one side. Now we have some sprues for the knight, and we got a new, really, really cool looking hull for him. Uh, the original Chaos hull is quite cool, and I'm guessing you can make both types or something similar to both types from this one hull. It, the holes look something uh, that I've seen before, but if not, then it's even better. Uh, then you can customize it, have this spike there, have the chain thing here, whatever you want to do. And that's awesome. This looks fairly familiar. This looks just like the regular base set of the Chaos Knights, that's the same. And here we have some weapon options. These are the same weapons as the original Knights, uh, Chaos Knights have. So you can get a lot of weapon options for this guy. I'm guessing a lot of magnets are in my future for this guy. And we get these cool looking shields, two different types of shield, the original one and the new one for those shield pits and of course the chained door so nobody's going out of this night. The guy who's going in, he's staying there. And yeah, like I said, two different types of shield and options are always awesome for knights. And even the leftover bits, I'm definitely going to be saving them and using them for a conversion from a regular knight to a chaos knight. So that's definitely a fun thing to do. Now, the knights are out of the box and we got this glorious artwork. I'm probably going to put that on my wall. I love knights and this looks, well, sadly it's the same artwork on both sides. And I love the look that these uh, artworks are giving us. And even though it's technically not the same color scheme I like to go for, still a ta damn good m picture and then the rest of the box is in this nice uh, little plastic thing so it doesn't go everywhere got a new rule book we'll take a closer look at that a little bit later on some uh, decals two types of decals now because now we're getting decals for the armatures as well and i haven't used a lot of decals up until now i put a fair bit here and there might even go a little bit decal heavy this time around i'm not certain yet i'm still working on what kind of paint job i'm gonna do got some bases and that's definitely necessary and the data cards and i love having data cards it's just much easier especially when i'm not the best of players i haven't even played with my knights yet but i like to have it easy and on hand so data cards are awesome now let's take a look at the books let's start with the assembly instruction because it's just a better thing to start with. 
we have the armature, the, excuse me, the war dog assembly and the knight assembly. And these are quite fun to look at because they have different legs. They have more evilly chaos, chaos legs. And that tentacle thing looks really, really disturbing. However, what I'm not seeing in this is uh, the assembly instructions for the other weapons. So I have to dig up if I still have the original assembly here somewhere lying about or look into the internet, see if I can find it somewhere. Hopefully I do. And like you say, here are a lot of sprues. Uh, for the uh, war dogs, you can have either one or the other option, but of course, you even though you have those two options, you can still mix and match. Like you see, you can go for a carnivore, brigand, or stalker. Now, I don't know if I can magnetize these or not, or, well, you definitely can magnetize them. I'm just wondering how much of an effort I have to put into it, or I might keep just a little bit of weapons left over so I can convert another armature into even a more chaos -y carnivore, brigand, stalker type of look. And of course, you have the ab abominant. But uh, in the assembly instruction and on the picture of the sprues, there are no pictures of the original sprue with the original weapon, so I find it quite likely I have to find that uh, booklet somewhere around here really cool rule book this special edition rule book really really love the artwork in these books so we're just gonna page through it now we're not gonna go over every single bit because that would take a time and it's not really the theme of this video i might read a few snippets from here and there when we're assembling it just for a little bit of fun a little bit of flavor something similar like i did when i did the bellacore model and the inf inspiration that you can find in this is quite astonishing. There are so many different types of looks and things. I, I'm still not certain what color scheme I'm going for. I'm thinking red, with, but a really, really worn red. But that might not be the best idea. Something along these lines, just a little bit more ruined. Paint chipping off and stuff like that. But who knows, I have to pamphlet through this and see if I can find something that catches my eye and most certainly I will find something that catches my eye and of course a bunch of rules about it and different types of things you can do with the knights but this is a quite a glorious book and I really like it and the texture on the back is nice it's rough and smooth and glossy and matte I love it now on to the giveaway nothing too fancy I just feel happy that I reached a thousand subscribers I know that might not be much for many folks but for me it warms the cockles of my heretical heart and to boost my spirit even further these new chaos knights are truly scrumptious so let's keep this simple use the hashtag let chaos reign the price is uh, 100 US dollars or 80 and a bit of change uh, great British pounds virtual voucher for games workshop web store a single winner will be picked from the comments that have this hashtag this will run over the next few weeks until the new chaos night set is fully painted in the video after that I will announce uh, a winner uh, side note, even though you can comment under whatever video I post after and including this one all the way up until and including the final painting video, only one voucher will be up for grabs. So, thank you very much for joining me here today. There are links in the description for all kinds of stuff, social media and various tidbits. You do with it what you will as per usual. Like, share and subscribe and hit that little bell thing and let the colors flow. But until next time, farewell.